hello guys welcome back to another vlog today how are you guys are doing and if you are watching a video for the very first time my name is precious i'm a mom of three beautiful kids two boys and one girl and this is our family channel for our old subscribers thank you guys for coming back to watch our videos we love you guys and we appreciate you thank you for your support thank you for your love so guys we're on our way going to franchise so this is going to be my first time of going to this kind of event. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it well, but French Expo. So in this 2022, this is the first time of them coming to Ottawa. So we are just going there. What they do is different kind of people come together and show you their business and look for partner who is going to partner with them. If you like whatever they show you, then you will be a partner. You pay, you own your own business. So this is my first time of hearing it. And this is my first time of going to this kind of event. I hope and I know I will love it according to what they said. So guys, for me not to talk too much, we are there already. Let's just see what they have. Let's see what they're going to show us. And let's see if you're going to be able to love whatever they're showing us or pay interest to whatever they're showing us. And we go from there. This is how they do it. Yeah, it's called booths. Everybody has a booth. 5% of what you need to know about our business, where you get all the information, is at one of our free information centers. So we're staying behind this week just to conduct these two meetings. The first one is today at 4 o'clock. That's the best one to attend if you can make it. If you can't make it today, we also have one tomorrow at 3.30. We'll just have the whole with you know, you know, the you know, you know, you know, just down the street here, just down the way. Now, two very important points before I let you go. First off, uh, they're free to attend. So this is a retail space, and then home space is out. 
Would anybody like a free Pepsi water bottle? Mine's free, yeah, there we go. Good, thank you. How are you today? But I'll warn you, it's not that uh, exciting. It's so simple in design. That's what my wife and I enjoyed. Just 27 of these machines out working for you. By the way, my wife and I, we just surpassed this. Yeah, so where will you put it? Yeah, but you have to have like shop where you can put it. Put it in other people's places. Really? Put yeah, so here yeah, you're saying this is for gaming, right? Gaming? They, know, they have many locations. So guys, we are still here. It's 2.56 now. So we just came here to buy food, the Royal Oat. I don't know if you can see the name. So we came here to get food. Then we're going to go back. We saw some nice nice opportunity there nice nice stuff and i met some friends there too met some friend the african friend there too so i love going out and see all this kind of because it make me to meet people and get exposed and talk about some stuff so we are going for the lesson now so at 3 30 we are going for the conference it's going to start, but I don't know if I'm able to vlog there, but if I can be able to vlog, I will vlog there. We left home 10 o'clock. This is 2.30. 2.50 something. And after that, we have another conference around 3.30. Today is wonderful. Today, the weather is nice, but I just feel cold. I don't know why. But now I'm inside the camp sweating. See? This is Hot Club. Yeah, Hot Club. Upland. So, this place is far from where I live. But it worth it. It worth coming here. And you guys know I love business. Anything possible, I love putting my head and see if it's something I can be able to do. But for all this stuff, I saw the air, all the business opportunity I saw the air. I love one, one of them. So we are going for the conference around 3.30. I'm going to meet some people there too. Guys, you can see I look so tired. You can see my look. And I have cold last night. The way I talk to me, I know my voice is not sounding good. But we move. So this is the place we are taking the lecture. Is it lecture or conference? I don't know, whatever. So it's in this hotel. We just arrived now. So we are just going to go inside and see what is going on and just see if it's what we can be able to do. But to be sincere, I love, you know, all these salesmen, they can just say anything for you to get into them. But I love what I saw. I love what they said. But it's less for us to now to go and check and do some some research. If it's what we can be able to do, then we'll take it from there. But guys, let's go inside. So guys, we are inside now and this is the oil we are using. There's no much people here, just one or two people. So 
gourmet coffee. When I, I say gourmet coffee, I'm talking like the blues, like the lattes, the cappuccinos. See, according to the National Coffee Associ Association, gourmet co coffee is increasing over 35% each and every year. It's not even nice. Where black coffee, you know, the pots, but coffee, you know, it's actually stabilized or actually decreasing. See, the rationale for that is, according to the National Coffee Association, the baby boomer generation, 65 years and older, have been years of black coffee drinkers, and they're leaving the workforce. Give me a prime example. Anybody know where Niagara Falls, Canada is? Maybe been there for the honeymoon or whatever. Okay. I grew up in a little town outside of Niagara Falls called Welland, Ontario. Okay. I, I, you know what's Welland? Okay, not too many people are. <laughs> well, it's in the Niagara Peninsula. Right? My father passed away a few years ago in the Red Lake in 94. Right? World War II vet. You know, fought the front lines in Europe for three years. A uh, union guy worked at a factory. If you were to ask my father what a cappuccino is or a latte, he'd look at you like you're talking Latin. Then if you told me you spent $5 for a cup of coffee, he would have had a heart attack 30 years ago. What's this world coming to? I mean, I'm glad I'm on my way out, right? $5 for coffee? Because <laughs> he drinks a cup of cheap black coffee a day. But all my nieces, nephews, you know, my son, they're all in their 30s. They don't drink it pot coffee. They grew up with Starbucks. They want the food from stuff, the lattes, the cappuccinos. The problem we have in the office environment today, and that's why our JVC operators are expanding at great rates, is because all they have in the office today are the black pots, you know, the buns, the 